You had what, 12 siblings and yes, or 11 siblings. Well, there were actually uh, four, four sisters and five brothers, and my mother and father of course. A busy musical family. This is 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 Carlton Avenue still standing? Uh, yeah, but I think a doctor owns it now. <laughs> So musicians are not welcome. <laughs> you've done big bands, you've done small bands, you've been in the band, you've been the leader of the band. What is your your favorite form of, of playing? I like to be in the ensemble, playing one way or the other, large or small. The small ensembles you have you get to do more improvisation. And the larger ensembles, you get to work on actually working together with people, which is a good thing also, more ensemble playing. So there's some, there's some pleasure in all of it. You mentioned you grew up in Indianapolis. Um, in 2005, you were put into the Indianapolis Jazz Hall of Fame. What was that like? Uh, well, it was kind of like, uh, like the Grammy that I got, you know. I got my first Grammy, I was uh, writing the music for Dee Dee Bridgewater, and she did a tribute to Ella Fitzgerald. And after I got the Grammy, everybody thought, oh man, after you, after you get the Grammy, you're gonna be really getting a lot of calls. So I got the Grammy, and I didn't get any calls at all after that. <laughs> that was the first Grammy, and then the second Grammy I got, I thought, well, I'll just have to take my phone out, I won't be getting any phone calls from anyone. But it's doesn't, in the, uh, the award that you get a lot of times, you think they would have more of a, an effect on what you do, but often they don't. I, I just wanted one last question from you, and, and that's to ask you, uh, Mr. Hampton, why is jazz important? Well, jazz is important because actually the real, the real, uh, I guess the real name for what we call jazz is improvisation. That's the basis of the, the word that they call jazz, but jazz was probably, made, that word was probably made up by somebody that wasn't a musician. And the improvisation is a very important part of the certain concept of composition that started back with the Baroque period with Johann Sebastian Bach. When they didn't write all the music down, they wrote some of it and the rest of it you had to improvise. So improvisation was very important then right up to the period when classical music came into existence. And then improvisation was not used in music for many years until uh, Louis Armstrong in New Orleans. Then improvisation started to become important again. That means that whatever's written, you you could find ways to interpret your have your interpretation of it. Louis Armstrong was the one that added notes to the music that wasn't written there, and that was uh, the beginning of the improvisation as we know it. Then later we started to have a situation that was based on improvisation altogether. And without jazz, if these kids weren't playing jazz and it went away, what would it mean? What would it matter? Well, it would mean that uh, the one thing that inspired us to have an individual opinion about things would be lost. And that's one of the things that uh, the jazz musicians or the whole concept of jazz helps people to realize it's important that everyone has a right to an individual opinion and your individual opinion is important. And uh, you have a, a right to make your own, uh, your own decision about things. That's what jazz is about, making a decision about a musical situation at the last moment that you think will have the, the best outcome, the best musical outcome. So in your life, you have to do the same thing, actually. We all improvise in our lives anyway, but most people think that they can't improvise. But of course, we all improvise just to get through the day. But jazz really makes you think more about a high level of developing your ability to improvise. Thank you. <laughs>